All right. <clears throat> Shalom, Yashirala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video. With the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem and our Shah, by Hashem and Chakudash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem and Chakudash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Who still got us to the highways and byways and feed us with a hundred percent truth according to the Bible and Ruel and Shalawam Labakoyan Wabarakim Shaya Shirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, and coming back at you and back with another lesson to the spirit of Pavi Al Bashimi Al Shabashima Kakutash. The name of the lesson is gonna be called Who Controls the Pestilences, man. You know, as you see on the screen right here, you got the uh the coronavirus, aka the they call it a COV-19, you know, a.k.a. Uh, coronavirus, man, you know. So who is the one that's controlling these pestilences, man, right here, you know. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into the scriptures and prove who controls it, you know. This is the book of, uh, we're going to start off with the book of Matthew 24, Matthew 24, verse 3. We're going to start at verse 3. This is the book of Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? The word world there, right there, go back to the Greek word Aeon, which means an age or rulership, right? You know? Uh, verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Meaning, stay firm, man, you know? And it reads, uh, verse 5, for, it's like, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, you know, and shall deceive many, right? So a lot of false prophets are going to say that they come in the name of the Lord, and they're going to deceive many by what? By their doctrines that they teach, man, you know? Like, you got these false Israelite groups out here talking about the, um, the RFD microchip is not the mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, certain Israelite groups out here saying that uh, um, the name don't matter, you know, or teaching false names. They're teaching false doctrine. They're teaching lies, man. You know, they say they come in the name of the Lord, but they're deceiving many, man, by their doctrines, you know, because it's not of that doctrine that they have. It's not of the Lord. Or it's of the spiritual demon Satan. Uh, verse 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all of these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Exactly. And we're seeing rumors of wars and rumors of wars. You know, we're seeing that, you know. We're definitely seeing wars and rumors of wars, you know. There's a lot of talking going back and forth amongst these different countries and, and politics, man. You know. But the Lord, but the Lord, always shout with the word because Jesus Christ said, see, you be not troubled, man. I mean, don't worry about it. You really should be looking forward to it, man. You know. This is one of the signs right here. Wars of rumors of wars, you know. And Lord Yahshua said, all these things must come to pass, man. But the end is not yet. I mean, it ain't over yet. It's just the beginning, right? This is the point, verse 7. For a nation shall rise against nation as going into those race wars, you know. The nation of Israel was consisted of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and the Israelite foreigners, according to the seed of their fathers, you know, are going to rise up against these other nations, man, you know. So-called white man, which is Esau, Edom, you know, and the rest of these other nations, you know. But the men of the Lord, you know, the men of the Lord is not going to be a part of that race war. You know, it's going to be amongst, you know, uh, um, the uh, the everyday is uh, the everyday uh, so-called black, Latino, Native American Indian, you know. But the men of the Lord is not going to be partaking into that, you know. Cause we're because we're gonna, we're going to trust in Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. For a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. That means the country against country. That's going into World War Three, man. You know? And then, and there shall be famine. See? Famine. A famine goes back to uh, a lack of something, man, or a shortage of something. And the, and the, what, the one of the famines that's about to, uh, about to befall here is the famine of the word, man. A famine of hearing the Bible. You know, from the men of the Lord. Start off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Down to younger brothers like us, man. A big fam, uh, the family of the word is 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 here, man. You know, you know. And it reads and pestilences. This is this is the point right here. 
and pestilences, which goes back to the word plague. You know, and I'm going to go into the, uh, the definition of some words in a second. And earthquakes and diverse questions, meaning earthquakes everywhere, man. Earthquakes are hitting the places where it, 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 it uh, pretty much never had been an earthquake there, man. Pretty much. You know, if it has been an earthquake, it haven't been there in like over 100 years, you know. And earthquakes are popping up everywhere. You know, places that they, they really that really never got hit like that. You know, where earthquakes, you know. Verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows, see? But it, it's still not the end yet, man. It's the beginning of sorrows, man. Like right now, everybody's in a sorrowful state because of the coronavirus. But the men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? We're excited about this, man. You know? Because Lord Yahushua said all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, man. You know? And he said the CDG be not troubled. So the coronavirus, and you know what I'm saying? And, and all the things that's happening right now, you know? The shutdowns, the state shutdowns, the country shutdowns, stuff like that. Plus, be looking forward to something like that, man. You know? So, Lord, how was shot city? It was going to come. So, now we're going to go to the definition of the word pestilence. I got uh, one definition of pestilence from dictionary, not dictionary, from vocabulary.com, right? A deadly and overwhelming disease that affects an entire community. Shoot, man. And, and I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Everybody agrees with this uh, definition right here, man. You know, it's affecting everybody, man. You know, everybody who ain't right with y'all about Shemel Shah, the God of the Bible, man. Our people catching it. You know what I'm saying? These heathen nations are catching it. You know, y'all about Shemel Shah uh, is bringing judgment upon this earth, man. You know, but the end ain't yet, though. You know, this is just, uh, this is just the beginning. I'm going to read this definition of this word, pestilence, one more time for vocabulary.com. A deadly... An overwhelming disease that affects an entire community, man. You know, a deadly and overwhelming disease, man. I, and this, this this disease, this coronavirus, is damn sure deadly. You know, it, you know, it's just killing thousands of thousands of people by like, about a week, two weeks, man. You know, easy. You know, and we go back to the can we go to the word definition of overwhelming, right? It goes it goes to two B. It's like a to be strong for overpower. So this cause so this coronavirus which is sent by Yah by Shemel Shah, you know, whether the government created it or not, it's still orchestrated by Yah by Shemel Shah, the God of the Bible. You know, it's it's too it's too strong uh to cure, man. You know, so pretty much there's no cure. So pretty much there's a de this deadly disease pandemic going around that the so called white man Esau Edom, you know, really can't cure. You know, unless you have by Shimon Shai put the spirit on them to cure it, you know. Uh, and another one is for overwhelming, difficult to fight against. Right, man. You know, they're having a hard time coming against this coronavirus. That's why they're about to shut down the, uh, the, the country, so to speak, man. You know, because it's getting, they said it's getting out of hand, man. This is, it's going around internationally, man. You know, but the end ain't yet, though. You know, this is just the beginning of sorrows, you know. So pretty much we ain't seen nothing yet through the spirit of Paya by Shima Sha. So now we're going to go to the book of Luke. Luke 21, verse 9. Matter of fact, uh, um, I'll go straight to the point on this one because it's pretty much saying the same thing. Uh, Verse 11, this is the book of Luke 21, verse I'll start at verse 10. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. You know, nations rise against nations, going back to that race wars, you know, those aka those civil wars, you know. Uh verse eleven, and great earthquake shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences. We read the definition of a pestilence, a deadly and overwhelming disease that affects an entire community, man. It's affecting everybody's community internationally, man. You know? And fearful sightings and great signs, there shall there be from heaven. Exactly, man. Example of that is them chariots, man. You know, them chariots are popping up everywhere. You know? One of the um great signs that we see is is the chariot that's uh that's bigger than the earth, man. You know, the father, aka, uh, you know, hey, it's like the fathership, man. You know, Yahweh Shema is it's, it's, it's about to return, man, sooner than what we think, you know. 
but we still got other signs to you know to uh to go through you know such as the race wars such as the uh the uh more earthquakes you know what i'm saying we got to go through the family of the world we got to go through the family of food and water you know we got to go through all these prophecies man in order for our lord to come back you know world war three you know martial law you know but uh the fearful and great signs there shall be from heaven an example of those of those chariots man you know so uh we're gonna go from there to the book of uh second edges the 15th chapter this is the book of second edges chapter 15 it's locked in notes are falling off this is the book of second edges chapter 15 verse 49 um Oh, yeah, this is the book of Second Edges, chapter 15, verse 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. So this is judgment from Yahweh by Shimei Shai right here, man. So all these things that are happening, you know, uh, in this country and internationally, man, it's all uh controlled by Yahweh by Shimei Shah, the God of the Bible, man. He said, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy cities with destruction and death. And that pestilence is not Yahweh by Shimei Shah wasting the houses, uh, uh, wasting these people with destruction and death, man. You know, it's not Yahweh by Shimei Shah sending death and destruction upon these people. You know, with this disease, man, with this pestilence, you know, you know, people going crazy out here, man, because they don't have faith in Yahweh, Bashi, Man, Shah, the God of the Bible, man, but they claim they believe in the Lord, though, but they going crazy, you know, but Yahweh, Bashi, Man, Shah is the one that's sending these plagues and pestilences, man, you know, and everything else that's happening around the world, man, you know, so now we're going to go from there to the book of Second Edges. The 16th chapter. Uh, I want to go straight to the point. This is the book of uh, Second Edges 16, verse 19. Behold, which the word behold means to look, right? Famine and plague. Tribulation, which the word tribulation goes back to catching a whole lot of hell, right? And anguish are sent as scourges, which a scourge is like a, a, a whipping, you know, as whipping, you know what I'm saying? For at for amendment, exactly, man. You know, Yahweh by Shimon Shah with them, with them scourges, man. The scourges pretty much means to to whip ass, man. You know, and he says, "Behold, famine and plague, man. Plague is a disease, a pestilence." You know, because we look that word up when they break that when they break that word down in the Latin, man. The pestilence go back to the word plague. You know, so Yahweh by Shimon Shah is plaguing these people with these diseases, man. You know. Yahweh by Shimon Shah is uh, a <laughs> have people uh, uh um how to say uh how to say he got these people shook man you know but the men of the Lord you know what I'm saying are not shook man because we know what the scripture says man you know we know what we know what the scripture says in uh Job the fifth chapter man it says no evil shall touch thee man you know so um we have faith in Yahweh by Shimon Shah that is gonna uh, look after us in these times man. You know, so we're going to go now to the book of, uh, let me see here. Um, as a matter of fact, no, we're waiting for that one. Let me see. Let's go to the book of Amos. Let's go to Amos. Just the book of Amos. Let me see where it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, there it is. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 7. I mean, verse 6. This is the book of Amos 3, verse 6. Shall it be shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Yeah, man. What what trumpet what trumpet is being blown in these times, man? This Bible, man. You know? And we speak in prophecy according to this Bible. And one of the prophecies that's that's gonna come, that's gonna hit these people on a large scale is pestilences, man, diseases, man. You know? And these people are darn sure being afraid now, you know. This 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 uh this coronavirus that Yahweh by Shema Shah sent upon these people got these people shook, man. You know? This is Amos 3 verse 6. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid. The trumpet is being blown, is being blown internationally, man. This Bible, the men of the Lord, starting off with your head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, you know, 
down to the uh, younger brothers like us, man, in the four corners of the earth, blowing the trumpet, man, which is this Bible, man, you know, and, 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 and bringing out the prophecies of the Bible, man, that's going to come to pass, which is a coming to pass right now, you know, and it reads, and the people not be afraid, shall there be evil, when you break down that word evil, eve meaning time, ill meaning bad, so bad times, man, so shall there be bad times in the city, and the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah have not done it. Exactly, man. See, Yahweh Shema Shah is the one that brought these bad times upon these people, man. People that's corrected with the affected with the coronavirus. People that are um uh 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 being quarantined, you know, people that are um in these hospitals, man, you know, people that are getting sick, spitting up blood and whatnot, you know, getting all types of uh catching all types of hell, you know. Yahweh yeah, Shema is the one that brought that bad time upon them, man. Because that's damn sure a bad time through the spirit. That's a bad time, man. Catching the disease, man. You know, that's a bad time. You know? But Yahweh yeah, Shema the God of the Bible, who the world only calls God and Jesus Christ, are the one that are bringing these uh, calamities upon the earth, man. You know, that's why I started off through the spirit with uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter, about what Lord Yahweh Shah said that I was going to... Uh, be the end of the sign of the, of the world man you know so hey with that you know low when this video was edifying for y'all kids out there that's watching through the spirit of poverty you know hey just stay 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 have faith in y'all by shimel shah talking to myself first and foremost stay prayed up have faith in y'all by shimel shah and look forward to the for for more for more hell to come man you know this is something that we're supposed to be looking forward to the lawyer house i said see that you be not trouble man well these things must come to pass man but the end is not yet so hey with that i want to give all praises and all honor and all glory to our heavenly father and to his only begotten son yahweh bahashim and next up double honors to our apostles and the elders of great millstone and shalom labakarian wabarakim shayashirala which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of israel and the lashiwan kodash and until next time i say shalom